Partial funding for the production of New Mexico in Focus provided by the McCune Charitable Foundation. This week on New Mexico in Focus, should the state acquire more federal land for economic development? Uh, that's potential revenue that could help either education, uh, health care, sure. transportation, whatever the priorities are 10 years from now. Plus, a new study shows the impact of downtown revitalization around the state. New Mexico in Focus starts now. This week, we offer some light holiday fare with the founder of the Dolls, Albuquerque's long-standing drag troupe, Ken Ann Sloan, also known as Tequila Mockingbird, sits down in character as Lady Grantham Dowager Countess to chat about the group's send-up of Downton Abbey in the new Doll Show. And NMF producer Megan Kamrick talks with national and state experts about how Main Street communities in New Mexico are fostering economic development by focusing on their downtown commercial districts. The Line Opinion panel discusses the economy, the new director of economic development at the city of Albuquerque comes from the private sector rather than public service, and he wants to focus on building entrepreneurship. Now, will it be enough to overcome our continuing economic challenges, and is it a blueprint for the whole state? We'll talk about that. The line also looks at a new proposed gaming compact with the Navajo Nation. At least one other tribe is raising concerns that it could alter the competitive landscape in New Mexico, and some are questioning whether this industry sector is becoming saturated. But we begin by exploring a proposal by Land Commissioner Ray Powell that would see some federal lands transferred back into state hands for the purposes of economic development and early childhood education. 